What's going on guys? This is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Reveal. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you that how you can access your Raspberry Pi from anywhere in the world without port forwarding or public IP address. There is a new option developed by Raspberry Pi Foundation which is Raspberry Pi Connect. And using this Raspberry Pi Connect feature, you can connect your Raspberry Pi from anywhere in the world using only the browser. So in this video, I'm going to step by step guide you how you can set up this Raspberry Pi Connect with your Raspberry Pi. So without further ado, let's get started. But before that, if you're new to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you have already subscribed, then thank you so much. Okay, so guys, right now you can see my Raspberry Pi screen. I'm using Raspberry Pi 4 board and install the latest Raspberry Pi OS. Now let me show you how you can set up the Raspberry Pi Connect on your Raspberry Pi. So first of all, what you need to do, you have to open up your terminal on your Raspberry Pi. Let's zoom this terminal so that you can see the command properly. Now here, first of all, you have to update your Raspberry Pi packages. So type here, sudo app update, then dash y, then press enter. Now this command is going to update all your Raspberry Pi packages. Okay, so packages has been updated. Now you have to update all the Raspberry Pi packages. So type this command sudo app upgrade dash y then press enter and this command is going to upgrade all the Raspberry Pi packages. Okay, so guys all the Raspberry Pi packages has been upgraded. Now it's time to install the Raspberry Pi Connect. To install the Raspberry Pi Connect just simply type this command sudo app install rpi dash connect then press enter now this command is going to install the raspberry pi connect on your raspberry pi okay so guys raspberry pi connect package has been successfully installed so after installing the raspberry pi connect you have to reboot your raspberry pi so type this command sudo reboot then press enter here you can see guys my raspberry pi is restarting so it will take some time so you have to wait Okay, so guys, here you can see our Raspberry Pi has been successfully restarted. And after the restart, here you can see on the top, we have a new icon. And this is the Raspberry Pi Connect icon. Now, what you need to do, you have to click on this Raspberry Pi Connect icon. Then click on Sign In. And it will open up your Raspberry Pi browser. Now, here you need to create a Raspberry Pi Connect account. So, for this, click on Create One for free. And here you need to fill up this form and create an account. Let's quickly create my account. Okay, so guys, after successfully verify the email account, you will get an option called name your new device. Now from here, you have to type a new name for your Raspberry Pi. Here, I'm going to type RPI for home. Then click on create device and sign in. Okay, so guys, now here you can see device is signed in successfully. Now, if I click on view your dashboard, here you can see my this Raspberry Pi board has been installed and added to my this Raspberry Pi account. Now if I go to any system in anywhere in the world and log in to connect.raspberrypi.com, it will give me this option. And whenever I click on connect, it will show me my Raspberry Pi desktop screen and give me the access of my Raspberry Pi only on the browser. Now let's quickly test this option. So for this, I'm going to get back to my Windows system. Okay, so guys, here you can see my Windows system. Now to access a Raspberry Pi desktop only using the browser, what you need to do, you have to open up a browser and visit to this URL, raspberrypi.com slash software slash connect. And now from here, click on sign in. And now here you have to log in with your Raspberry Pi Connect account. So click on sign in with Raspberry Pi ID. And here you can see it's showing me my Raspberry Pi 4 home device. Now to get the Raspberry Pi access and use it over the browser, just simply I need to click on connect. And after some time, it will quickly open up another browser tab with the Raspberry Pi graphical user interface. Okay, so guys, here you can see I got my Raspberry Pi screen. If I close this browser, here you can see my Raspberry Pi. And now I am accessing my Raspberry Pi using this browser tab. So guys, like this, you can easily use the Raspberry Pi Connect feature to connect with your Raspberry Pi from anywhere in the world only using the browser. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video and if you really like this video and enjoyed this video then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends 
and guys if you need to this channel then please do subscribe this youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification i'm Medi shakil you're watching instructive tutorial and i'm signing out